Today, we're throwing our oldest son his high school graduation party. So today, I'm making some of our traditional barbecue side dishes. Boston baked beans, coleslaw, a veggie tray. I'm experimenting with a macaroni salad and our son's favorite potato salad. I'm serving it alongside of hot dogs. You're probably thinking, that sounds pretty boring, Kimmy. Oh no, they're not just any hot dogs. We're going to make a hot dog bar where they could create their own hot dog that feels gourmet. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I was like, all right, it's now or never. I decided on the winners and put them in these picture frames. That way I could display them on the table as their menu and they could you know, try one of these or feel inspired with all the ingredients laid out in front of them and create something of their own. Here's what we got going on. The Tex-Mex dog, barbecue sauce, french fried onions, and shredded cheese. The Hawaiian hot dog, pineapple, red onion, cilantro, barbecue sauce. The chili dog, green chili cheese dog. The Chicago style dog, yellow mustard, diced onions, dill pickles, tomato wedges, sweet pickle relish, onion, pepperoncini slices, and celery seed. The slaw dog, the Reuben dog, sauerkraut, Thousand Island dressing, and shredded cheese. Menu number two, the avocado dog, guacamole or avocado, bacon bits, tomato, onion, mango salsa dog, taco dog, shredded cheese, salsa, jalapeno slices. The New York dogs, the baked bean dog, baked beans, cheddar cheese, and onion, jalapeno popper, barbecue sundae, and the sissy dog, yes. The Zizzy Dog. It is ketchup, mustard, and relish. Okay, let's start cooking. Let's start with the Boston Baked Beans. Aprons on, let's go. Okay, shopping my shelves for the Boston Baked Beans, and I'm going in my big deep freezer and pulling out some bacon. And then this bottom drawer has ground beef, and we are running low. I need a couple of these guys. These nice big ones. Actually... Let's do, for this crowd, let's do the big, big one. Okay. Then I'm going to need kidney beans. I don't do a lot of kidney beans in it. I probably only do one. And then butter beans. I think I'm going to do two of the Great Northern beans. And then we'll be in in just a little bit for the chili, for our, the chili dogs. Okay, I'm gonna put the bacon in the microwave and let it thaw out. We're gonna do defrost one. I'm gonna only do a half a pound because I don't want it to defrost too much to where it's like cooking it, you know? Seriously, one of the best smells in the whole world. Bacon, yum. Here's the ground beef that we browned up. And then all that bacon we cooked up, we're gonna crumble it and get it in here. Add some chopped onion in and I'm gonna slow cook this on a high now that our onions are in we're gonna add some ketchup I don't even measure it guys I just don't and mustard and brown sugar mm -hmm. lost of those beans oh yeah all right I'm gonna mix this together Cook this on high. So we have baked beans as a side dish and we're on their hot dogs. All right, we're gonna make the coleslaw. We have our bags here. I'm, I'm gonna start with two. I don't know if I'm gonna do three, I might. All right, I'm gonna do six tablespoons of sugar because I'm doing two cups of mayo. and eight teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. All right, I'm gonna add this in and get mix this all up and get it in the fridge so it can sit. This will wilt down 
And then after I mix it, I might just put that third bag in, and this is enough dressing for it. it honestly, this is a double dressing recipe, but when I do one bag, I take the normal amount, which is a cup of mayo, and I'll only use a half a cup. I don't want it to get runny. Okay, I'm adding that third bag of slaw in and mixing it with what's already in here and it's gonna wilt down. It's gonna go in the fridge. I'm gonna transfer it to a different bowl and then it'll go in the fridge and oh, it'll be so good. We're gonna put a cover on this and get it in the fridge. These potatoes were prepared last night. Let me show you what I did. So for my potato salad, I like to boil the potatoes whole. And then I just, after I don't know how long, I just poke them with a fork. And if they go through, they're done. And then I cool them off with some water, nice cool water. Then I just chop it up, get it in a bowl, and get it ready for all the vegetables and the creamy mayo. I found that this is the easiest way to make potato salad instead of peeling your potatoes, cutting your potatoes, boiling them. This way to me, it comes out perfect every time. So now we gotta make the mayo mixture to go in here. Add the hard boiled eggs, celery, onions, and pickles to this. Okay, so here is some leftover onion from the Boston Baked Beans. I'm gonna chop this up, and then we're gonna chop up a lot more onion for the hot dogs. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. I put these eggs in the instant pot last night and hard boiled a ton because you gotta have the eggs with your potato salad. So they're nice and cold from being in the refrigerator. This is a big salad. Now I'm just seeing if I've got a good ratio of toppings for it, you know? I've got white onion in here, but I think I'm gonna add some red onion to brighten it up. And I think I'm gonna add a little more pickle as well. All right, I'm gonna just finish off this big tub of mayo and go open up another one. Um, this is gonna take a lot. That's why I like getting these big guys of mayo. Shopping the shelves, grabbing this big guy here. What's your weakness? What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know. I'm gonna add in some pickle juice. I'm gonna add in some garlic salt, some pepper, and some mustard. And I'm gonna mix that, and it's all by taste. Some more pepper. I'm gonna put some garlic powder in, and some onion powder, and some dill. And now we'll get this over the potatoes. And now we're gonna slice up the last of the eggs and get them on top. Okay, I'm gonna put some paprika on top, give it some color. 
And the potato salad is done. Yes. That's going to be so good. Okay, I'm going to fill up this pot so we can boil the water for the macaroni salad. And on my shelves, I have this elbow macaroni, and we're going to get this in the pot with some salt. I don't know why I thought a pound would be enough. Clearly, that's not going to be. So let's cook up some more. All right, that's better. So when I was at my friend Becky's house the other day for her daughter's graduation, I finally got to try her family's pasta salad. It is so good. I've heard about this salad for years. The seasonings that are used in it are top secret. There's only two people that know the recipe and one of them is Becky's mom and she won't share it and the pasta salad is so good but i got inspired by it so this is what i'm going to do for our pasta salad i am going to make it mayo based so i have some mayonnaise i just filled up the bowl i couldn't even tell you how much i have in here then i poured in a zesty italian seasoning packet and i used a little of onion powder and garlic powder and black pepper. I'm gonna get it in the macaroni and get it all working in there and put it into the refrigerator while we chop up the veggies for it. I know it's not gonna be the same, but I was inspired by it. So thank you, Becky. We're gonna get the green onions going, the green pepper, the red onions. I wanna put sliced olives, but Derek's not a fan of that. I'm gonna take the, I like all the seeds and stuff out of the cucumber. more color so I'm going to add some purple onion to it all right let's get this all in there so pretty with all those colors oh my gosh it needs some salt and then I'm gonna add some more of the zesty Italian in mmm that tastes so good I mean it's not Becky's but It'll do, it is good. That zesty Italian seasoning is really good. So I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator and let it do its thing. And I'm just filling my veggie tray. I already have some gorgeous cherry tomatoes in there. These are really big. I'm wondering if I should cut them. Yes. The veggie tray is done. We have the broccoli, the cherry tomatoes, celery, carrots, some more celery over here to break up the color and the peppers. And then when it is time, I'll put that yummy dilly fried pickle dip right in the middle. And this was so much cheaper than buying a veggie tray already done. In this little slow cooker I have, I just put the whole white queso with green chilies in and we're gonna get this heated up and so that way it's nice and smooth and not so hard when um, we go to serve it up. Derek is getting the brats ready. So what we like to do before we put them on the grill, we like to boil them in some Bud Light lime. Yum. We have a lot of hot dogs to grill up. So as they come in, I'm just gonna place them in the slow cooker. The brats will go in a different one and uh, we'll fill this up to the brim with hot dogs. They'll stay nice and warm in here. I have family members that love their 
hot dog like charred. How do you like to have your grilled hot dog? When you send your husband out for ice. He comes back with him. A bar, an outdoor bar, cooler bar. <laughs> Mr. Toodles is getting the ice chest ready with all the waters and sodas. Okay, you guys, this was so much fun. It was a big hit. Once they saw what was going on and the menus and how they can create and have fun, I kept hearing, this is cool. What happened was people started to take their hot dog, cut it in half. That way they could try a couple of different styles. There were some clear winners. The chili dog for one, that was a big hit. And it was so fun to see what they did with the chili. Some people followed the recipe that was on the menu. Then I saw one of our friends put the chili on her dog. Then I saw her put the white green chili queso on top of the chili. Oh my gosh. It was so fun to see what people came up with. I had the barbecue sundae, which was the baked beans topped with coleslaw, the Hawaiian dog, pineapple, red onion, cilantro and barbecue sauce. That was so good. And people really enjoyed the Reuben dog that had the Thousand Island dressing and the sauerkraut. It was so yummy and what a fun way to take a hot dog and just make it feel gourmet right at home. When tasting all these hot dogs with all the different toppings, they would be so good on a burger and grilled chicken. So you're just not limited to hot dogs. The hot dog trays worked out so beautifully. People would put their hot dogs in and like a scoop of a side dish. I'm definitely gonna grab more of those hot dog trays for sure. If you need some food inspiration this summer, just click on this video here and click on the playlist down here with tons of motivation to get you into the kitchen. We'll see you soon, bye.